Recently uncovered documents reveal that Facebook allowed a conservative group to run an AstroTurf campaign posing as a progressive group in order to try to split the Democratic Party in the 2018 midterm elections. And they were also involved in some shenanigans with the 2020 election. But let's start with what this group Rally Forge did in the 2018 elections. Uh, they were posing as a progressive group called America progress now APN. And what they did was they got on Facebook, created this page, acted like they were a real group, encouraging people to support not just the green party, but specific green party candidates that they mentioned by name. And yes, that is important to remember. They also posted socialist means, uh, memes. They talked about the two party duopoly and how horrible it was for America. So vote green. And Facebook knew that America progress now was not a legitimate organization, but that it was being run. The page was being administered by three individuals connected to this rally forge group, which also happens to be connected to Charlie Kirk's turning point USA and turning point action. There is a, a, a big web <laughs> to untangle here. So let me, you know, bear with me on this. Uh, the first one, like I mentioned, why is it important that they mentioned green party candidates by name? Because once you start advocating for a specific politician with paid posting, suddenly you fall under the jurisdiction of the federal election commission and everything has to be reported that you're running ads to support a specific candidate, not just a political party or an issue you have to be reported. This was not done. So they were looking at potential legal violations. That is until last year, the FEC said, nah, one guy took the fall for it saying, no, that was totally my fault. I'm new at this. I didn't know what I was doing. And then of course, other people, uh, former FEC employees said, yeah, it's obvious this guy was made the fall guy because this group broke the law. So as I mentioned, three individuals running America progress now from rally Ford. So who were they? Here they are men by the name of Jake Hoffman, Connor Clegg and Colton Duncan who also served as Facebook page administrators for Turning Point USA, the right-wing college group funded by, uh, founded by Charlie Kirk in 2012. Hoffman and Clegg were also administrators, administrators, excuse me, for Kirk's Facebook page. So these weren't just some yahoos, you know, that Turning Point had run in their page. No, no, no. They were also running Charlie Kirk's personal Facebook page to push out his crap while they're also operating this AstroTurf campaign again. And Facebook knew this. Facebook knew who these people were because obviously you have to register for your Facebook page with your name. They have all that information. They knew who was what, but at the time in 2018, when this was taking place, Facebook didn't have rules in place to say this was illegal. So they looked into it and they said, nope, you're not violating our terms of uh, service here. You get to continue, you get to continue, uh, spreading this propaganda, even though we know it's propaganda because that's just how we are at Facebook. After the 2018 election and this group clearly being unsuccessful, the America progress now page went dormant until about last summer when suddenly it re-energized after they had hired a troll farm from Phoenix, Arizona to start posting pro Trump memes and material. After it was revealed several months later, I think they started the, the bot farm in uh, June, 2020. Then by October, 2020, Facebook caught on and said, Oh, wait, Oh no, you can't do that. Uh, we we have to shut you down. So they did officially get banned. Rally Forge got banned from Facebook. So that was the only kind of punishment they've had. But again, these were individuals with very, very close relationships with Charlie Kirk and Turning Point USA. It, it would be naive to think that Turning Point and Charlie didn't know what was going on here. Uh, you know, this, this kind of smells like something Charlie Kirk would absolutely do. In addition to running the bot farm in 2020, they were also pushing conspiracies that Democrats were trying to steal the 2020 election, which was not true. Uh, turning point had paid rally forge, you know, these three guys, essentially $1.1 million over the last few years. It was their top contractor. This whole thing reeks to high heaven but this is exactly what conservatives do.
And this also happened, let's not forget, during the same time that conservatives whined and cried about being shadow banned. They, they talked about Facebook punishing conservatives. No, y'all are out there manipulating the system and Facebook knew you were manipulating it and allowed you to do it. So don't you ever come whining about big tech censorship again, because y'all got away with it for the longest time before you faced any kind of consequences. Um, honestly, right now, I don't think this story is over. I think investigations need to happen. I think we need to find out why the FEC chose to not, uh, go forward with charges against these individuals for knowingly, uh, misleading them basically as the former FEC employees say, so this isn't done. This can't be done. This is absolutely appalling behavior. Luckily, these idiots were too stupid to have it be successful, but that may not be the case next time. And I guarantee you, Republicans have clearly tried it once. They're going to try it again.